Welcome to this Windows channel and a little uh, bit of news here to the Media Center, the Windows Media Center. This was introduced in a special edition of Windows XP which was called the Windows XP Media Center edition. It was sent to the Vista, Windows Vista and to Windows 7 and um, a lot of people, I had a quite a lot of people ask me if it was available for Windows 8.1 and also I'll give you a little bit of news of the future of the Media Center. So for Windows 8.1 yes you can get the Windows Media Center but you will need uh, Windows 8.1 Pro which will let you download the Media Center pack. So you really need to have the Pro version of Windows 8.1 for it to work but it's still available uh, if you have that version or if you don't you just upgrade to the pro version of Windows 8.1 and you'll have it available free as a download. It's not integrated in Windows you'll have to go and download it from the Microsoft website. So that's the news for that. Um, for those that don't know what Media Center is the majority of people that use PCs uh, Media Center is actually a fantastic way of using your computer as a multimedia center and uh, especially I had an old uh, machine with Windows 7 that actually had a TV card in it where you can actually listen to the TV on your computer and so on and the media center was fantastic because it turned your computer into basically a DVR it would enable you to watch TV record TV shows it has a fantastic multimedia experience if you want to watch DVDs, uh, listen to music and so on. And it was really perfectly formatted for a TV. So if you had an HD TV and you put this on, this was fantastic. Your PC was basically really a multimedia machine doing pretty much everything you want, plus the added bonus of a PC. Um, thing is, Microsoft's uh, Gabe All did confirm that Media Center is dead. And what that means is it's still available if you have Windows 8.1 with the Pro version. Uh, and it's, you know, the best thing you can do if you want really to have a multi multimedia experience with the Media Center. Personally, I would just simply, you know, get a PC and have a, an install of Windows 7 on it, which incorporates the uh, Media Center. Um, but if you plan to eventually go to Windows 10, this is where you have a problem, is that Windows 10 will not have a media center. So the media, multimedia experience from the media center, if you've ever moved to the pro version of Windows 8.1, will not jump to Windows 10. This means that if you have a Windows 8.1 machine and still use media center, uh, don't upgrade to Windows 10. You'll lose that capability of using the Media Center, unfortunately. Um, the reason why they are actually killing Media Center is because apparently it's just, um, you know, low usage. Not a lot of people are using me Windows Media Center. And it's unfortunate, you know why? The biggest problem with Media Center was the fact that nobody knew it existed. The number of people that I actually, uh, you know, went to as a tech guy that had TV cards and that, you know, had real cool multimedia PCs. Uh, when I would show them that this existed, they didn't even know. Why? Because there's like no real indication of, it, of you know, the media center there. It's one of those weird things that Microsoft puts here and you just don't know it's there. So uh, the only people that really know it's there is those that are curious enough to just go through everything in the PC and look at what it is. So bye-bye um, Windows Media Center. It will not be part of Windows 10. But if you're using Windows 8.1, you can uh, upgrade to the Pro version if you don't have it right now. And then you'll be able to download the, multi, uh, the uh, Windows Media Center pack. And uh, of course, another thing that you can do is simply use an old PC with Windows 7 on it and uh, the only version that doesn't have it is the starter edition. The starter edition does not have Media Center but all other editions do so why not use it on another edition of Windows 7 on some old PC if you really like it. 
If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to our channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have comments, questions, anything about Media Center, about Windows 8, and about the future of Windows, and about whatever you would like to talk about computers, let us know. We'll try to post a video online or we'll try to help you.